The things you hear at these airports. They have gelato here. I just finished having a nice conversation with the family and I shared one of my business cards with them. Actually, it was a family, it was an older couple of eight children. And it turns out that they have a couple of um, individuals with human detour systems, which is my way of saying disability because I don't like the term disability. I like human detour systems where you learn to focus on what you can do and work around what you can't. And um, so anyway, I was talking to them for a while, and then I was talking to um, the individuals at the airport before that, the ones who help with the um, taking flight. And uh, I'm the only one that represents the community as a whole right now, um, especially the autistic community that's working with this program right now. And then the rest, of, working with the taking flight are members of Delta. And this is something that I'm passionate about. So I had a chance to share new ideas with the, or my new ideas with the, these families today and ones that are some new practical steps. I just came up with another uh, idea that I think should be put, actually two more. So right now you see me walking around Concourse C this is one of my favorite places to go, but... Whew. I've been in Concourse for the last hour, uh, refueling, recharging my phone, and also recharging lunch-wise. The food that I bought earlier today at uh, Quick Trip slash QT. And uh, I happened to sit with a really nice couple from uh, the Phoenix, Arizona area, and they were talking to me about their children and telling me that their daughter is a teacher that works with individuals on the spectrum and talking about some of the frustrations that they've seen, everything from funding cuts to uh, dealing with careless parents that think that it's somebody else's responsibility. And I was talking about sometimes uh, you've got to learn to teach yourself or you've got to learn to push yourself and not listen to what anybody else says. And, we just discussed that that was appropriate and sometimes you have to do that or sometimes you have to find somebody outside of your networks who's going to um, stand alone that can be that mentor for you and be somebody that is that motivator that's going to bring you up and that's going to get you out of your shell and then they were telling me about uh, their children one of them has cerebral palsy and he's the milder cases and he's married and has a family. He's evidently doing really great. Uh, he told me about their other son that supposedly is, um, has a human detour system that needs structure. And uh, he was able to get into the military after trying to uh, take the test before going off to basic combat. And he just graduated and he's now getting ready to go off to advanced individual training. So I thought that was great. Anyway, before that, I went to uh, my uh, traditional third uh, autism airport rehearsal tours, which is the Taking Flight program. And I had a chance to provide them a little more information and I had a chance to uh, really expand out on information dissemination and basically provide them, quote, technical assistance or train the trainer, teach them some really, really good ideas. Um, one thing I loved was when I was on the training is uh, one of the second airline pilots and I uh, were, t uh, were up there talking and he's, he was taking, talking about one of my ideas and he said he didn't want to steal my thunder so I said boom boom. However, when I had a chance to speak, I was able to provide uh, these families with some new information after uh, coming up with an idea. So one of the new things I just talked about as you saw in one of my last vlogs was uh, Okay, uh, you can go to these rehearsal tours, you can listen to these airline pilots, but 
since you have a special pass, my suggestion was to uh, go walk around the airport, get familiar with everything, the electric train, as Temple Grandin calls it. Um, she also suggested, uh, sorry, that's kind of distracting, but she also uh, suggested getting some videos of TSA officials patting somebody down and uh, putting those at home on a TV or a computer with your, ca your camera on your phone. And then uh, you can play those over and over again and practice uh, patting each other down so that these autistics know that they need to be touched. But getting back to the game plan, um, just getting a view of the airport and also a feel of uh, what it's like to board a plane, uh, what families can do and just have them see that people are bored by zone and it, every person has an assigned seat. Uh, I also talked about um, having sh maybe showing the seat map uh, which Delta Airlines does provide and show the individuals where they're going to be sitting because some of them are, are incredibly uh, visual and they can remember where that spot is and also uh, figuring out how, how they can board the plane first, especially on Southwest, which, uh, which boards randomly. Delta is a bit more straightforward and, um, and how if you have special needs, you need to uh, go forward and contact uh, the airline and tell them your situation and because uh, they can't help you unless you come forward and uh, explain. So. I thought it was a really good tour today and then I had a chance to just look around at all the sights and the sounds and the first one was uh, I was walking through the sky bridge which is the boarding ramp and I noticed there's a very very loud humming and I asked where the noise was coming from and one of the uh, Team Delta members uh, told me that this noise comes from um, the motors that move the ramp back and forth and I I suggested that that's a great place for these individuals to uh, have their headsets ready. And then I also talked to um, her about uh, these flashing lights, their LEDs, and they were flashing like lights in a discotheque. And I was talking about how they need to get their sunglasses ready and <laughs> so that that doesn't bother them. And then I was uh, talking about how they need to uh, update their narratives, which I showed you before um, quite a few vlogs back from uh, March and and how there are a few pages in there that are missing. So there's that. And then I talked about another exciting opportunity that I had been corresponding with Temple Grandin on via email. And I don't want to talk about what it is right now, but I talked with um, with the airline pilot and director and he said that we really need to be uh, getting a hold of the media teams at Delta and it's going to cost some money to do it. So uh, I'm going to go forward and uh, share Temple's emails with them and then I'm going to uh, see what I can do to uh, get this going forward because I would really like to uh, get my hands on this project and I'd like to be involved every way that I can. So. I just know it's really, really exciting, and I hope that they'll be able to approve this idea. I also need to speak with uh, Steve Mayers, who is the um, director coordinator of the ADA committee, and he also works with customer service. He said that they had some funding available for this kind of project too, and unfortunately, we haven't been able to meet because he's just been so busy, and the woman that I talked to, she she's also uh, one of the co-directors, She's been super busy too, uh, this Amani Fanis. And so I've been trying to get the ball rolling with them and I am waiting to hear back. I know that we have a meeting coming up on the 25th this month because we meet quarterly. So I'm really excited to do that. Um, but yeah, this has been just a terrific month for Autism Airport Rehearsal Tours and Autism Awareness Month. And I just, yeah, I, I'm just really proud to be a part of uh, this, uh, ongoing experience in this organization and I'm glad that it's at ground level and I just I know it's growing and it's going to be very well so uh, without further delay though I'd like to uh, log off today and uh, I'd like to get going I have another uh, 
big event going on, as I told you in a, in a previous vlog. Uh, but if you like what I'm doing, please be sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Um, and also be sure to uh, ask questions, any comments. I'd be happy to answer them with you, especially on Autism Airport Rehearsal Tours. Until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer, and I'm signing off now. Bye. pop-ups have been, well, popping up all over Hartsfield-Jackson International Airport, but they're all about sanitation and keeping this, or the Hartsfield-Jackson as a germ-free zone. I'm not sure how I feel about these, even though I love animation and I love art. Although these just really aren't my style. Um, I mean, yes, they get the message across, but honestly, these pop-ups, I think they're kind of annoying. Even though she's adorable, I love that dress she's wearing. And yeah, I love the uh, hand washing. Uh, that, that's a good message right there. And then there's a little bubble below, um, as you saw earlier, so. Hmm.